What is up everyone? I hope you're all doing well on this pretty damn cold November morning. Today I have some more news for you, some regarding some brand new Black Friday deals, and others regarding something completely different. And of course, as usual, in case you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to smack that little subscribe button down below, and let's get right into the video. So first thing that we have is a brand new use case for the pass-through API. I mean, it's not really a brand new use case, but it's a fantastic use case. A lot of you, including myself, are now waiting for Minecraft V are to come up on the Oculus Quest 2 fully standalone. However, that hasn't happened yet. And as we can see here, a developer on Twitter has created a pass their API app that allows you to bring Minecraft to the real world. This is pretty damn interesting and pretty damn funny, considering you can jump and walk straight into those holes in real life. And it's definitely quite surreal seeing your floor break underneath you. Quite a creative way to use that pass through API and definitely one that I will be waiting to try out. Let me know what you think about this one down below. Okay, now for the deals. We are almost at Black Friday, literally like four days away. And the Black Friday deals are already starting to show up. And of course, I was wondering, you know, is there going to be a Black Friday Oculus Quest 2 deal, considering this device is already pretty damn cheap for a VR headset. And many said no, that was including myself, I thought there wasn't going to be one. But it looks like the Oculus Quest 2 now comes with $50 of store credit or a gift card for Black Friday. The Oculus Quest 2 sells starting at $299 with an existing refer a friend program offering $30 of in-store credit when an existing buyer sends a special link to friends via oculus.com forward slash referrals. For Black Friday and Cyber Monday through November 29th, via partnering retailers, Meta is bundling a $50 gift card for a store like Amazon, or $50 of Oculus store credit to buy games and apps when purchased via Oculus.com. So you can essentially get that $50 of in-store credit in order to buy yourself some games. Either way, it really comes out to be the same thing in case you're looking to buy that $50 of in-store games. The Oculus Quest 2 128GB is $300 with a $50 gift card from any retailer you choose. So for example, if you're buying off Amazon, enter Oculus 50 at checkout and you'll get that deal. Best Buy, Target, Newegg, and Oculus all seem to just have the deal come ready for you. And the exact same thing goes for the 256 gigabyte model of the Oculus Quest 2. So in case you guys are looking to buy the Oculus Quest 2 this holiday season, well, I would say go for it. We don't seem to have any new headset coming from Oculus anytime soon, or at least until next year. So you'll be waiting quite a while if you don't pick this one up. And I assume that if you're going for the Quest 2, you don't really care about the mandatory Facebook or Meta login, and you just want a headset for a cheap price. And Currently, there is no other headset like the Quest 2 for this price out there. Let me know what you think about this deal down below and whether you will be getting the Quest 2 this holiday season. But yeah, let's move on to the next piece of news. Microsoft Flight Simulator, one of probably the most notoriously difficult to run games, finally has VR controller support, or at least it used to be very difficult to run. I don't know about it now. A year on from the launch of its VR headset support, Microsoft Flight Simulator finally has a VR controller support too. They certainly took their time with this one, but it is very welcomed, since I know that this game is loved by many in the community. The implementation came, as promised, by way of last week's Game of the Year update which was free for existing owners. VR controllers allow you to navigate the game's menus, but also allow for more direct interaction with plane cockpits. You'll be able to grab the yoke to steer, although this is done using your stick, not with motion controls, that's disappointing, and interact with instruments around the cockpit. So yeah, as I said, this is something that was asked for by many, and this game is loved by many. As I know quite a few people that really enjoy seeing gameplay of this. And I mean, as we now know, Vario seems to have made a headset pretty much centered around flight simulation. So yeah, that's some great news right there. On a topic of another VR game, Resident Evil 4 VR Mercenaries mode arriving in 2022 leak revealed. So from what I know, this was actually an unlisted video on Oculus's YouTube channel, which they had unlisted, but for some reason they left it inside a playlist, some people found it, and boom, we've got a leak. It looks like Resident Evil 4 will be getting the much requested Mercenaries mode sometime in 2022. Biohazard cast reported on the Oculus YouTube channel with a video trailer for the mode, revealing that it arrives as a free update next year. The video has since been made unlisted, but not before the site uploaded its own version, and Twitter users have found a link to the original video too. So the DLC announcement, of course, was probably not supposed to be shown for another little while, but hey, look, when people find something, if one person gets their hand on it, the entire 
internet has a hand on it. That's just how it works. I know quite a few people really love Resident Evil 4, and others are upset about it not coming to the Quest 1. But as we've talked about it before, it does actually work on the Quest 1. Maybe with a few minor flaws, but it does work, if you're willing to play around with it a little bit. It's also worth noting that in this trailer, just as a quick mention, it says Meta Quest 2. So it's like officially gone gone. I don't think I've seen one of those before yet. But yeah, a lot of people love the Resident Evil 4 port, a lot of people hate the Resident Evil 4 port. Let me know which one you are down below. And 4VR Darts is coming to the Oculus Quest with hand tracking next month. I love playing kind of classical games in VR, like I've said before, things like snakes and ladders, things like bowling, things that you have in the real world that you can go to an arcade, play around with your friends, and now they're coming to VR. So if you don't have the chance of going to an arcade, maybe with friends, you can connect with them virtually and play it in VR. And this with hand tracking is going to be that little bit more epic. Hand tracking has been improving quite a bit recently. And even the unplugged air guitar, you know, the one that you play with your hand tracking, it's, it's working really well. So, hot off the heels of its VR bowling game, 4VR is about to release its next Oculus Quest title, 4VR Darts. The game was announced earlier this week in a short trailer seen below. As with 4VR Bowl, Darts looks to be a social VR experience that utilizes Meta's own avatars. Players meet up in a bar and aim for the bullseye. But whereas 4VR Bowl used Quest controllers, you'll be able to play Darts with hand tracking. It'll be very interesting to see how the game handles this way. So yeah, I completely agree with that. It's going to be quite damn interesting. With hand tracking improving, but not being 100% perfect just yet. Let me know what you think about games like this coming to the Quest. Have you played bowling in VR? It's one of my favorite ones, so I'm interested to see how many of you play it as well. And now I have some super exciting news for you guys. Some of you might know this, whether you've been tuning into live streams or whether you've been on the Discord. I have been invited to go to Switzerland this Thursday, and I'm going to Switzerland in order to visit the Serial offices. Serial is a company that specializes in making light field technology. If you guys don't know what light field is, I'll leave a few videos videos down below explaining it, but essentially it will allow us to take that next step towards immersion in virtual reality, allow us to focus on objects just like we would in the real world. Currently, as you've probably noticed in VR, everything might just look like it's on the same plane. Sure, some VR headsets aim to make this better than others, but it's not entirely realistic. After all, everything is kind of on the same plane. However, with light field technology, you are able to focus on things just like you would in the real world, like I said earlier. So once this comes out, it's going to be that little bit more realistic. And we already have prototypes and things that we can test out, with objects coming in and out of focus just like they would IRL. Of course, this should not only be used for VR, but also AR. And in fact, I think with AR, it would be a little bit more interesting because it would make the things blend into the real world that much more. Overall, it's just super exciting technology and I cannot wait to be able to check it out. This is also just a really exciting, really incredible opportunity for the channel in general. Like I have never traveled in regards to business before. So, you know, this is super, super exciting. But that being said, I do require your guys' help. No, I'm not asking you for money. <laughs> I'm asking you for questions. What do you guys want me to ask the guys over at Serial? What do you guys want to know about light field technology? I've made a channel for these questions on the Discord in case you guys want to join and just throw in a bunch of questions there, or you can throw them down inside the comments section below. Anything that you guys want asked, anything that you want to know, I'm happy to ask them. And you know, the more info we get, the better. And of course, I will be asking whether they're focusing on consumers or enterprise, but I feel like most technology will sooner or later end up for consumers anyway. But yeah, that is all super, super exciting. And I will probably be live streaming while I'm there since I'm trying to bring my laptop with me. So yeah, that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope you all have a fantastic day or night. Let me know what you guys thought about today's pieces of news. And of course, leave your questions down below. If you guys liked the video, please leave a like. If you guys disliked it, I guess this button works too does it though. But anyway, in case you disliked it, let me know why down below. Leave some constructive criticism. I always enjoy that. And yeah, if you guys are not yet part of our community, make sure to check out our Discord down below and make sure to check out our Reddit, where I want to see you posting your spicy memes. Thank you so much to the Patreon supporting this channel. You guys help me pay my bills, upgrade to better gear, and make these videos more entertaining. So thank you so much. In case you guys would like to support the channel in any way, shape, or form, we've got sick mugs down below that boost your FPS by 300% and merch that does not put a huge ad on your body. And of course, if you guys want to be notified about future content coming up, on the channel daily, make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace.